Hey, love that umbrella guy. <laughs> Song, it's a call out. A platinum flowing nuclear option fall out. You ruin lives because no one knows you. Will that the umbrella guy? He will expose you. It's not just the stalking in the lies where you fail. All the scanning that you aimed at the hell. It's the family members and what you to take. The broken people left in your wake. It's that umbrella guy and epic mic check. Inviting millions to watch as I wreck. Someone that'll target a child with. You can't stop me And I got questions here from the masses This is college and you're attending classes Yeah, reality 101 is calling And what you did is beyond appalling And you retaliate with PHS With your sheeple Dozens of alien says What are you hiding? Cut the chase That's not law abiding Even the therapist want the courts to keep you away From a child you consider nothing more than a pain with a mic check Pointing out all the lives that you've wrecked You excuse it to any commentator But you're the common denominator It's that umbrella guy live from the hat wreck Dropping rhymes that might have an impact On rebuilding everything you were taking From all that trust that you were saking Can kin stop me All right, all right. What's up, what's up? How's it going today? Man, welcome for, to a long overdue edition. Man, you know, yesterday, this is interesting because apparently I, I think some people have gotten butthurt and they, they started mass flagging the channel because we didn't get a, we didn't get a strike, but I couldn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> so uh, I think it's one of those weird... Um, youtube strike issues we got it cleared up today you know i had uh, my mcn reach out and they were like yeah <laughs> yeah about that <laughs> but it's fascinating I, i'm thinking maybe uh a certain joke list maybe <laughs> maybe got a little maybe got a little twisted after the other day <laughs> who would have known man who would have known that if you kick somebody like square off the uh the groupie cash train that they might get so mad. Let me read you a post here from old Jokey before before we get started. I really want to go over the rest of that Ohio stuff. Oh, it looks so good. But I do want to read something. This was actually posted like a few days back. Um, but my lord. <laughs> My Lord, apparently someone does not like the DUI guy. <laughs> DUI guy out there making friends, man. I swear. Let me get a drink here. Mm, this stuff, man. I love the I love the anger. <laughs> I really love the anger. How's everybody doing today, by the way? Yeah, Juggle is trying to put Tug in the hat rack. I swear. What do these people think they're doing? I mean, really. Why you want to put old Tugless on the hat rack? Mm. I don't know. 
this subject is a fascinating one. I mean, it's <laughs> I like I said, I'm glad that the the case had a pause moment. I'm going to I'm working on trying to get a day where Madam Mayor can come on so we can talk. I, I reached out to her and we're working on a um, we're going to work on a she asked like what times would work and stuff. So we're at that point. So it will happen. Because I want to find out the, uh, this, you know, the six months. Light my cigar. I was trying to find out the six months that was there. You know, all of that craziness. I think that she has a very interesting tale to tell. And I really want to hear it. So. I'm going to work on that tomorrow, by the way, Megan Fox and I, we will be live here. So that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Those are always crazy times. Oh, it's going to be a fun week. You know, we might have a, we might have a week full of fun times, but this, like I said, this is, this is really angry. I mean, look at this. Michelle is not going to give her a child going to give her child an education where'd he get that from <laughs> where did he get that from oh here we go okay i saw that up there i was like wow what i mean this is all nuts listen to this dui guys literally fabricating a case against michelle as he reads the u.s district court complaint against her he describes the leap pads michelle has the text in which she offered to pay jeremy for the leap pads for the baby. Oh man, those leap pads. Then J.H. told her she did not need to pay for them. Normal neighbor interactions. Please, please give me free shit. I don't think I've ever asked my neighbors for free shit. I mean, if I were, you know, <laughs> that's a step up from a cup of sugar, don't you think? You know, <laughs> have you ever gone to your neighbor and were like, hey, um, yeah, I don't really want, I wouldn't really want a, a beer or, you know, some cookout stuff. Maybe an ATV. That would be nice. You think, because my, my kids, they really like to ride ATVs. You think you could hook me up? <laughs> Maybe a mini cannon, you know. Because we like the 4th of July. <laughs> we like fireworks. <laughs> I mean, it's so crazy. That's not normal neighbor interactions. I have never talked to my freaking... Um, I've never, ever talked to one of my neighbors and been like, hook it up, <laughs> hook it up. Uh, DUI guy states that George is not listed in the complaint. Like, oh, DUI. She's not listed because if they counter, they will not receive payment due to his LLC and trust and arrangement with George to protect assets. George cannot be listed, Michelle does not stand at the sign for a photo until meeting J.H. the very same day he helped clear a tree from the entrance of property so she could enter with permission. You remember the tree tale. <laughs> oh, she could enter, you know. Here's the problem. She could enter with, even, even if that were the case, right? Telling somebody, this is my property, and I need you to do something. I need you to go in, and I need you to, to do work on said property, to remove something. Yeah, that, that puts Jeremy in a really bad position. You know, because it's not just the, the idea of maybe they didn't want it moved. Maybe that's trespass. But there's also the liability component i mean what happened if somebody got injured that would have been a real problem there but how about chat give me one second I'm trying to get my chat rolling there he goes freaking chat on youtube it was like frozen <laughs> no don't freeze chat the real estate agent per owner also gave her complete permission to clear the dead tree 
the dead tree sand. I guess that's trees and in other property. She was in the middle of completing her purchase. She had been searching for a property along the Gulf that was a smaller town from where she was, just up the coast, Newport. She lived not far away up the coast and lived in the area for years, long before Jeremy ever purchased property in Florida. That's strange. That's strange considering uh, she moves right across from the guy and starts asking for the monies. You know, getting out the old Changalang bucket. Hook it up, baby. Hook it up. I mean, that's, uh, yeah, that's not the same thing. You know what I mean? That's kind of, uh, it doesn't fly. It doesn't really fly very well. So did he follow her to the Gulf? She, she was there first? That is the dumbest thing I think I've ever read. <laughs> that, is, that is the dumbest thing I think I've ever read. I'm sure, I'm sure Jeremy would have wanted to have been like, first of all, the logic of that, you know, there's no logic to it. Oh, well, she lived way off somewhere. So when he moved there, he was actually following her years later. What? What? To this different place. Okay. But on top of that, I'm really sure that even, even in some weird possibility where somebody could follow, I, I don't see anybody wanting to follow Lynette, you know? <laughs> I mean, uh, what, what, what would be the positive there? I mean, you get to you get to live across the street from a turtle morgue. I mean, sanctuary. I mean, that's not that's not very fun. You get to have crazy people shooting all the time, allegedly. I mean, my God. She did not lie. She literally had a contract in the works to buy the property, although did not own it yet. And then complete permission to move the dead tree and enter. Man, you say this like four times, you know? Come on, concise. <laughs> Be concise. <laughs> this word vomit is not attractive, I swear. Ugh. Mm. You could get fat off this word salad, though. I do have to say, man. If you could actually eat word salad, my God, this would be nourishment. <laughs> I mean, really, it's a whole lot of nothing. There are a lot of weeds that get lost in here. Yet this is the complaint. And he sues this disabled, struggling mother for $450,000 for doing literally nothing to him. Oh, I've seen that, that play. That's always the play, by the way. Always. We saw it with, uh, we saw it with Amber Heard. You know, all this poor, poor, single, struggling mom. <laughs> we see it here. I mean, it's 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 the play. It's amazing. There really is a playbook. It's called Stupidest Excuses Ever, Volume 1. <laughs> uh, DUI is calling her a stalker on the show. For Jeremy Hale, DUI guy claimed she was going to get all she could from Jeremy Hale when she was not ever asking him for money. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> okay. Give me them late pads, baby. <laughs> you been asking for nothing. He'd also claimed on the video that Michelle and John were great neighbors until she stated. She would run for office. DUI guy claims Michelle is not going to give her child an education. <laughs> Look at this. Like, what? 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 <laughs> Look at how that just changes. It's like, oh, oh, my God. It hurts my brain to read. Where did that come from? <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Where did that come from? You know, uh, the, the lack of education thing is probably stating that if, if you let your child like run crazy in the middle of nowhere, roam in the streets, you know, chilling up on dead dog road. <laughs> what a place, by the way. I mean, what do you what do you expect here? 
DUI stated that if Jeremy Hale wins, she can give him her beloved property. It was to be for her daughter one day. <laughs> oh, my God. Now the property. Oh, she was opening the turtle sanctuary and, you know, the exposed shit house. <laughs> Excuse my wording there. The exposed poop home, <laughs> poop retirement villa. <laughs> That's what it is. It's not a shit house. It's a, it's a, it's a bowel retirement villa. She was opening up a bowel retirement villa. So one day her daughter could actually inherit all of this. Amazing, amazing stuff. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is DUI doing this before? Oh, wait, I forget. I forgot. I know it says I forget. <laughs> Michelle is a hot ticket moneymaker and he's monetized. <laughs> Well, she hates that money. By the way, if you love this channel and you would like to join the groupie cash train, get right on board. <laughs> Actually, make sure you like and subscribe if nothing more. <sighs> I swear, she hates money. Like, it's amazing to say. I love how much, like, <laughs> this woman hates people making money. DUI guy claims Michelle told Jeremy Hill to do what we say, or we're going to screw you over, etc. <laughs> Is that how she said it? We're going to screw you over, etc. <laughs> Where's he getting that lie from? Michelle did not make this sign. Are you kidding me? She didn't make the signs? Are we, I mean, are we, are we in, in denial of everything? You know, we're talking about People saw the signs. Oh, no. Isn't that an Ace of Base song? I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. <laughs> I'm not going to bust some Ace of Base up. I saw the sign. Yeah, I, much. I guess I said I'm not going to, but I did. Oh, my Lord. Mm. <laughs> the signs. Not now. Do you I got claims? Uh, Michelle? Is in a cycle of give me, give me, give me money, or else this will happen. I think it was vindictive, nice, is what it was. <laughs> What's up, Risa? Thanks for the uh, five there. A proud passenger on the groupie cash train. Choo, 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 That's good stuff. I love this. I, I, do, I, I have to say, I find a, I find a case that's. Man, this stuff with the hells is fascinating. I hate it for him, like I said, but it is fascinating watching these crazy people. I like. I, I realize, like again, I wouldn't wish this on anyone, but as somebody that observes behavior, you know, as 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 a day job, you know, I look at human behavior. This human behavior truly fascinates me i mean it is something else uh, but she did not want any of that the problem started when she ran for office and a plan was already in progress to remove targets like russell from office uh, dui guy claimed she was using false statement to extort money from <laughs> she went back to that whole it it's because of office thing that that's the go-to now you know that's the go-to plus the statements there you know when i read through her article i should have been more concise on something too her claims of statements that um that i'm sorry i called that an article her her you're not a journalist when you journal i just want to make that clear you know you you i guess you could you are a you are journaling, but to call yourself a journalist, that's kind of a stretch there. That's not usually how people take that. So, yeah, but when she wrote that thing out, you know, she made these claims about oh, it's all tied to politics. And it's like, uh, no, what's up, Janice? Thanks for doing. Lynette moved to Florida from Iowa. She moved to North Poet 
into a house. When Jeremy moved to Otter Creek, she sold her Northport house and moved to Otter Creek across from Jeremy. Facts. <laughs> Indeed. Well, you know, when you read this level of stupid, too, I appreciate people putting in statements like that, you know, <laughs> remedying the stupid. But I hope when anybody reads this stupid, <laughs> and that's what this is. This is a bucket of stupid. <laughs> you know, we're reaching deep into the bucket of stupid. You're like, ooh, imagine it like live bait. <laughs> what kind of texture would it have? It would probably feel like <laughs> it probably feel like broken dreams, turtle soup. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Oh my God, did somebody put a diaper in here? <laughs> Uh, Angel, things that did there, perpetual victimhood is now a way of life. A pathetic experience, but very well. How would you help them, Tug? Professional opinion. A person has to want help. Here's, here's the thing, and I'm not talking about them. I can't, I cannot give a professional opinion <laughs> on anyone. You cannot remote diagnose. But I can say that a person has to want help. They have to see an issue before they can fix an issue. So with the folks here, yeah, they they don't see an issue. So you can't you can't help those that don't want it, you know. I think the best I think the best help they could have is a a really stern reality check. That <laughs> that's I think I think that actually can help here. Because, you know, Lynette, you know, all of the accusations there, Lynette has one heck of a track record for um, for allegedly doing some pretty horrible things and making people fall in line. And, yeah, somebody finally standing up and saying, nah, I think that's very helpful. Subi Sue. Since she hates the money, <laughs> thank you for the tip there. Uh, you know, she she you you, you got to realize too. She doesn't hate the monies. She hates it when other people get the monies. Because I mean, she could stand around and oh, she can write stuff. But unless somebody's laughing at it, it gets nothing. You know. I mean, it's funny. I like the fact that uh, blessed little trolls and their minions, they post stuff like this. <laughs> uh, but let's see. DUI guy. I'm sorry. DUI. He's just DUI these days. Claims she was using false statement to extort money from Jeremy Hale. Absolutely not true. And this complaint sounds as... <laughs> <laughs> why is she putting these random things like that's nuts i mean out of everything <laughs> uh, i swear i swear if i look through here and there's a two inch pipe and there's nuts i'm gonna be like what the what <laughs> what the what happened <laughs> I, mean, <clears throat> I didn't say that <clears throat> anyway continue it sounds as nuts two inch pipe as the other <laughs> civil cases oh my god DUI guy is outright reading lies. Say in May 2023, John trespassed in his truck onto the Hales property with a gun. And when the Hales confronted him, asking him to leave, Cook told the Hales, if he steps closer, he will see something go back. Man, there's a video of that. <laughs> Holy crap, man. There's an actual video talking about this you don't you don't have to believe anyone with that except your own eyes i mean that that is absolute lunacy oh <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a i'm a professional <laughs> i'm a professional i'm no i'm not i'm not today <laughs> like parentheses big lie Big lies. I was present on the phone. <laughs> present on the phone. <laughs> I was present on the phone. <laughs> Doing an interview with Michelle the moment Jeremy Hill and Brett were out in front of John's house filming his family where the baby girl reside. 
<laughs> that is the dumbest way ever. What? what? With a baby girl resigns. <laughs> okay. I mean, instead of being like, he was filming his insane neighbors. No, no. He was filming the turtle sanctuary where the baby swims with the tortoises. You'd be like, that doesn't even make sense. Shh, be quiet. The tortoises swim now. <laughs> what? what is all this? On the way to market, on the way to market, it sounds like he's going to sell himself. He's going to sell some of those dead turtles. On the way to market, John went past Jeremy Hale's house and stopped to film the people who had just filmed at his house for evidence. He did not have a pow pow with him. His pow pow was at home out of reach. And I may have recorded that interview. I'll have to find out. What? what? <laughs> You, 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 I don't. I don't understand. So even if you recorded it, you would you would somehow know that that video that we saw it can't be real because reasons. I know. I don't get this. Earlier, I was recording an interview. <laughs> oh my God! Help me. And Jeremy Hill did not ask him to leave he instead surrounded his vehicle which was on a public road not trespassing and jeremy hill in anger trying to get john to exit his vehicle for a physical fight started hitting john's driver's door and john is disabled you notice john is really disabled whenever they need an excuse you know john has had 37 knee transplants He's had to have all of the muscle taken out of his butt and his back. <laughs> his butt's so flat, the kids, where the kid resides, they use it as a freaking seesaw. You're like, what? What does this mean? <laughs> uh, I'm going to have that image in my head all night long. <laughs> he's going to have all no butt muscle. <laughs> and then he's going to be propped up on one of the fences. Turtle on one side, a little kid on the other. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Let's see, where was I? John is disabled and got scared knowing Jeremy Hill always carries guns with a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> what the fuck? What, what do you think people do? If if I carry my 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 pow pow with me, and I do, I do. I am always strapped when I'm out. Just to say, <laughs> just noting that it's not very helpful if I can't use it. You know what I'm saying? I mean that that's part of the process. You have to be able to utilize the. the I mean, <laughs> Is always got a bullet in the chamber. I mean, my God, man. Oh, and said, come near me and see what goes bang. Because he was afraid. Wait, wait, wait. And said, come near me and see what goes bang. So he didn't say that, but he but he did. That that's strange. So there's the denial. He didn't do all this stuff. He was actually afraid and he made the threat but he totally didn't have a weapon uh-huh well you know if again that that's a stupid narrative very stupid but but imagine this narrative was real okay let's just to say let's just say again i'm not saying it is i just i want you to think this through logically with me okay you're terrified that somebody carries around a firearm chambered all the time and they surround your vehicle. So instead of being like calling for help or, you know, anything else, you're like, yeah, come over here and see what goes bang. <laughs> I mean, unless that's a, <laughs> unless he's inviting him to a, to a, to a porn party or something, I don't really understand how that's working out for you. He was like, come here. 
I'm going to show you what goes bang. You're like, no, nah, no, thanks. <laughs> I don't want any of that. <laughs> you can take that back across the street. He's like, but I heard about two inch pipes and there's peanuts. <laughs> You're like, no, 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 no. Uh, he said that because he was afraid, Jeremy Hale was going to pull him from his truck and shoot and kill him. <laughs> oh, my God. I was present on the phone with Michelle when this incident occurred, and I will offer myself a witness. What the? Let's see. Let me find this. Da, da, da. I will offer myself a witness. <laughs> I will offer myself a witness. <laughs> that sounds scary, actually. You know, one witness sacrifice. <laughs> You'd be like, man, I hope no Jehovah Witnesses pop up there because these people are off the freaking chain out there. I don't know what they're doing on the turtle reservation. Uh, maybe they're trying to bring a few of them back. They're like, oh my God, fish and wildlife's coming back. <laughs> Quick, get the witness. <laughs> You're like, what? what? I, will, uh, I will search to see if I was recording. Since we were recording several interview segments at the time. It's amazing. There's documents that never emerge. <laughs> there's interviews that never pop up. You notice, like, there's an excuse for everything. Always. Yeah, you know, I was there, actually. <laughs> I, I'm a notary public, too. <laughs> I was finishing off their deed, totally, when Jeremy came over and moved that tree. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. Fact. John did not have any gun in his truck. Yeah, you said that already. <laughs> Jeremy Hill was filming, John. You can say 100%. No gun will be on that video. There was no gun. <laughs> Again, dumbest excuse ever. If you threaten somebody pretending that you had a firearm, like I said, just go in with that. Oh, I, I mean, again, these aren't very intelligent people. You know? I mean, if you were to look up Stupid in the dictionary. Oh, I could see a few like reference points, <laughs> you know. See also 39 aliases. <laughs> Give all the aliases. Oh, that would be the best dictionary ever. <laughs> it's like a 39 person drop down. <laughs> I would love it. This is a serious false accusation in the U.S. District Court to railroad. Hey. Don't you talk about railroads unless you're talking about railroads and justice and group of cash trains. <laughs> I mean, what kind of messed up world is this? To railroad a disabled mother. Are we back to the disabled mother again? With no means for an attorney whose entire life and livelihood has been disabled by the egregious ongoing attacks. So not only is she disabled, but her livelihood has been disabled. My God. Everything's jacked up there, you know. I mean, John, like I said, he's got 427 freaking kneecap replacements. She's a poor, disabled, destitute mother. I'm gonna say that if a turtle farm has no turtles, that that would technically be disabled, right? I mean, it doesn't work, therefore, I mean, it does have some problems. Ah, oh, everything is having problems up in there. He's doing this to a defenseless, disabled woman to take her land and get her gone as he has threatened to do to her all along. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure all that land there that he had before, that just wasn't enough. He's like, I'm a land baron. <laughs> uh, it's like that movie, There Will Be Blood. He's looking for that. Oh, my God. I'd like... <laughs> I'm just imagining the Otter Creek version of There Will Be Blood. <laughs> that would be the best movie ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. There is so much more. And these viral journalists 
had been given the story by Jeremy Hale to support his views. Not acceptable. Not acceptable. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, I got a rock eater for an attorney, baby. Got, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> I drink your turtle shake. <laughs> I'd be afraid of what's under that ground. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, that's where the turtles went. That shack also doesn't seem to have a, it doesn't seem to be built with um runoff and stuff in mind. I'm just to say, you know, God, that place has to smell bad. Like when they, when they were, uh, when, when fish and wildlife was out there, I kept thinking, man, I bet I could smell that property through the video. Yeah. Like, oh, Lord. If they can talk, so can I. Yeah, here's the thing, though. It's, it's kind of like the um, the whole joke about if a tree falls, or, or the adage, rather, a tree falls and no one's around to see it. Does it make a sound, you know? If a joke is posed, but nobody gives a shit, does it really matter? I mean, unless unless you have somebody out here that I'm just in a particular mood to laugh at stupid things. I, I get in that mood. I, I get in a mood where, you know, I just I can't help myself some days. It just this mood overcomes me. In fact, I spend 30 minutes or so laughing at stupid. But besides that, if it weren't for yours truly in my translation of the stupid. How many people would really care? Huh? You have to wonder, right? So, actually, we don't need to wonder. There were there were three like there were three people that I don't want to call them likes because you know you can you can pick out what you do. There weren't necessarily likes. There were laughing faces and other <laughs> stuff. You know, people weren't agreeing. They were just like, ha, 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 "This is the dumbest crap ever." Oh, John. Are we back to the gun again? Good God. John did not pull any gun on Jeremy Hale. Do you not proofread this shit? I mean, I put in typos and stuff because I, I just don't like if I'm Twitter, I don't care. And sometimes it's really bad and I have to redo it because I don't I don't I don't reread it. But, you know, I. I, I don't allow myself to. Uh, to basically let my phone do to, to, to word vomit. That, that's that's not healthy. It's not healthy for my phone. This, this is a sign of a very starved phone. I bet it's a really well-fed spell check, though. <laughs> What's up, Snake Blushkin? Snake the Vibe Tug. Wouldn't it be a swamp man and not a land magnet? That's true. That's true. That is true. Swamp Baron. <laughs> that sounds better, actually. You know. He's out there. He's like wearing the freaking turtle shells. <laughs> he's, he's got a, a giant shell and a necklace. You're like, oh my God, he's coming for another one. <laughs> what a monster. <laughs> so yeah, these two. I mean, turtle ice cream in support of Jeremy. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. Yep. If you want to support him. Oh, I mean, can you imagine this absolute train wreck being parked across from you, though? And like I said, I laugh at the stupid and stuff. My God. My God, I, f I feel bad for Jeremy with this stuff. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let, me, let me see. He did not pull a gun. Wait, here we are. John did not pull a gun on Jeremy Hale. And the other incident, Jeremy Hale was harassing and filming John for an extended period at John's home. I thought it was the home the baby resided in. I claimed John pointed a gun at him. It never happened. I have a case. I have the case. It never happened. I have the case. What, what the fuck? You have the case? What, what does that mean? Is your interview? <laughs> I am now an attorney. <laughs> and I challenged DUI guy to a law off. <laughs> you know, I kept thinking somebody would probably have this this train wreck of a buffoon on and have a good laughing spat. But the problem is she can't even manage a freaking link click in. Like, how, how would you ever have that? Oh. Oh, man. One time, uh, so 
stuff like this can be funny. There was a guy way back when Ricada Law had this guy. It was the funniest live stream I've ever seen. And this reminds me of that. This guy, he was his name was Shane Holmberg, I think. And <laughs> when I can only imagine what would be live streamed from like Lynette's property because this guy, he had like the weirdest things. He had like a, a cutting board and there was a shoe on it in his kitchen. <laughs> you know, they started calling him Shane the Shoe Eater. So, I mean, you, you could have a great live stream uh, with that. But again, somebody would have to be able to click in. <laughs> so, I, uh, God, that would be so funny though. I guess it's time for side B. By the way, you know, side B. Normally, if we're talking about like the flip side of something, I'm old enough to remember the tape. <laughs> and the tape, when you flip to side B, yeah, typically it depends on if, if it's a full length thing, maybe A and B. But, but a lot of times, you know, we think B sides, you know, things that don't make the album. So I probably wouldn't call my case the, the B tracks. <laughs> just just going to say that. Furthermore, the comments John made in Facebook have no relation to Michelle. She's not John. Oh, So I, I like the fact that they do at least admit that John was out there talking to mad squabbles. <laughs> but that's not her. And I mean, I, I, I'm not answerable to anybody. I do agree with that. But you're not going to tell me that these folks, they weren't, they weren't sitting around together being like, yeah, we're going we gonna to talk a lot of shit. I mean, you've seen them. Again, he's peering in the windows. He's popping up in, 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 in freaking depo. I mean, how exactly can you say they're somehow removed from one another? Michelle never wrote signs. That J.H. Ard, her daughter in Signs. What? what? It sounds like Sign. I mean, I'm, I'm baffled. Are they saying he did something in sign language? She never wrote the signs where he, mm, her daughter in signs. <laughs> Again, it sounds like something happened in sign language. I'm like, I thought I knew what the R was for. But, but I guess I don't. I guess I don't understand. It. <laughs> what the? Indeed, that's what I was thinking. She's being framed, just like Russell and Mary are being framed. After I published my town hall article, I'm preparing my Facebook audio segments. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned, baby. What about all the constant defamation, hundreds of videos toward Michelle? <laughs> I hate to say, but when you, you're allowed, it, it's kind of like this. You're allowed to draw inference from something. Like, say I record something, right? I, 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 here's a good example. Lawyer said this one time. It always stuck with me. It's like, you see somebody go to the bathroom. You know, they, they've got a baggie. They come out with white powder under their nose, the sniffles, and they're all excitable. Yeah, you probably can draw some inference on what they were doing. That's not against the law. <laughs> so if I'm recording reality and I'm telling you, yeah, this is happening, plus I draw some inference from some certain items that are going on. Yeah, that's, that's not illegal. That's not how it works. What's up, Terry? Things with the vibe. Is she saying? Be daughter? Wrote the signs? <sighs> I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, I, I, I thought about going down to the Dollar General and seeing if maybe they sell a stupidity translator. <laughs> uh, I get somebody to translate this, but apparently, like, all the, the stupid people that probably could translate what they really meant there, they're all morons, and they wouldn't be able to articulate what's going on, just to say. Oh. None of what he is doing makes any sense, unless he's abusing her. <laughs> Wait, so now he's abusing her. 
That's fascinating. They switched to that real quick, didn't they? Now he's a, an abuser. DUI, which one, by the way? Are they talking about DUI guy? Are they talking about Jeremy Hale and the signs? <laughs> I'm really confused. Like I said, this stuff put together, I don't even know what they mean with this. By the way, thank you, Fallen Hero, for the gift of membership, too. I appreciate that. A DUI guy. It's just high on the hot cash case. Why is it? Why is it a hot cash case? I mean, could it just be a cash case? It's that hot cash case. Getting on the groupie freaking <laughs> uh, cash train, I swear. Man. The fuck are you lying to you, uh? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. I forget <laughs> the view and cash counters. <laughs> oh my God. That was kind of amazing. You have to admit that was amazing, right? It is. It's, uh, stupidity has a certain elegance to it, right? You know, much like a, much like a train wreck. It has a certain, uh, a certain horror that draws you in. Give me a second. I'm going to pull this up. Man, the hells just keep you. Uh, and now I got a, uh, the hells put up a video three hours ago. It's uh, I like their thumbnails, by the way. Their thumbnails are always a lot of fun. <laughs> so let me pull this up. I actually want to go over the Ohio stuff. And I got, um, I, I want to, I want to stress this. I'm, I keep their ads on. I do. No. I want to stress something, okay? One of the things I want to stress is that this that we're looking at, you should support the hells. What the hell? You should indeed support them. The videos that are put together, they're quite magical. I mean, I have to say, these, they have me intrigued. Every day I tune into this, and I think, and like I said, I never... I had I had run across um, the hells before. I, I went through a I went through a time where I I watched a in which what people would buy at uh, like yard sales, toys and whatnot. And I and I'd actually watched their channel, um, and YouTube stopped recommending it to me. Weirdly enough, but I had not caught this detour into the madness and like jeremy said he made a really good point he said you know the the things that worked on his channel the big hitters they weren't this case you know if you're talking about they, they, there are some people out there you, you you just read some stuff from one of them that say oh he does he talks about this stuff it's trying to make money yeah, that doesn't really work considering the man had to spend in right now, right at six figures plus. Like, that's a huge deficit. You're not going to overcome by just making uh, turtle purgatory videos. I hate to say, it just doesn't work. And he's thanks for the 10 there. Us OGs have been waiting years for article Shard said she was going to write. So far, nothing published. I want to, I really want to see some of those, by the way. I really do. I, I, I really want an article. I would read it out. I would laugh at it. Oh, God. And she knows it would be mocked. That'd be the problem. Jamie, thanks for the two. The sign said J.R. Art, her daughter. Yeah, yeah. I, I know what the sign, by the way, just when I'm talking about it, yeah, I do know. So let, let me let me be clear on it. The way she wrote it up, it, again, it made it sound like what what the what? You know? It was like he supposedly did that to the daughter in signs. <laughs> That's the way she I was like, what what does that even mean? No. <laughs> Again. Uh, anyway. <laughs> but yes, I do understand that. <laughs> but thank you if I didn't. Like I said, uh, one thing I do appreciate from all you folks that have been around the OGs is um uh, is just noted. When I've had questions about something or I get something like I don't know something like, like, for example, in that article that the joke list wrote, there was a picture where Jeremy Hale was allegedly uh, recording Lynette 
you know, he had a lady sitting beside her and <laughs> she was looking off like you could tell she had a look of, oh, with the person that was recording Jeremy Hale. I kept calling it, you know, <laughs> Otter Creek Inception. And I thought that picture was being taken by the joke list. And people were like, no, 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 that's this other player. So I was like, all right. See, yeah, there's a lot of black lore. That's why I want to talk to Madam Mayor and other folks, because I, I, I want to understand. I, I, I kind of want to, I, I, I've liked the interviews with this too. Some of them have been funny. Some of them have been very, very serious, but I think all of them have been very meaningful. But let's get this on here. It is my private group, but it looks like Marla wrote it, not me. <laughs> Look Marla at that. wrote that, not me. Go help me, God. We're about to take another deep dive into a court video. Marla in Ohio, got thrown under the bus. Part two of hearing number one against Lynette Preston, who throws her best buddy, Marla, huge. Under the bus. <laughs> I love it. By the way, if you have not subbed for some reason to what the hells, do it. You need to do it. This is their video. I want you to. I will interrupt if you want to watch stuff straight through. And you should. You should always watch something with a clean mindset. I watched part of this, but I was like, man, if I'm going to listen and laugh at this stupid, I need to do it live with you folks. So let's do it. Please only focus on what Mr. Hale has alleged in his petition. <laughs> and I will tell you, time is of the essence because I'm, my day ends at four o'clock. So we may have to continue this to another date and time if we are not able to wrap this up. So, Ms. Okay. Preston, do you have um, other questions on cross-examination that are focused? That are focused. Have I? Have I have I Did you like that? That are focused. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love that. I love that addition there. Do you have any questions that are focused? <laughs> I ever have, have I ever for those keeping count? That was four. Have I ever? <laughs> this is like a game I used to play with all my campers at camp. Yeah. Have I ever or never have I? I don't think it's a game in court though. <laughs> have I? Have I? Have, I don't even know how to answer. Can I was you, thinking that. Or, or, um, were you coming to my prop property and getting bread and stuff from us? Sustain. Okay. Make sure you speak into the microphone, Mr. Heller. Sorry, Your Honor. Okay. Um, have I ever personally walked up to you or Martha? and threatened you, said I was going to hurt you, I was going to do anything to you. Have you ever seen me in Ohio? Have I ever been to Ohio? Hold on, one question at a time. So the question you asked you was, it. have you ever... You know, that that is the problem too. Multiple questions, because Lynette has no idea what the hell she's actually doing with this. It's kind of nice to watch there. Nancy? Is that, am I pronouncing that correctly? Thanks for the $5 super chat, by the way, there. Hashtag stop talking by order of the judge. <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> Essentially, oh, she's getting that rebuke. And if you didn't watch the first part of this, oh, this all is gold. Walked up to Mr. Hales and or Mike <laughs> issued a threat. That's, we're going right. to answer question one. Mr. Hales? So to answer your question, you have publicly posted that you told <laughs> Mike to get the fuck <laughs> off of your property. Multiple times you have publicly posted that. Now, that is a lie. You did not say that. And no, you have not threatened me personally face to face. All of your threats have been online. Is it more true, Mr. <laughs> Hales, that... Is it more true? <laughs> is it more true? Is this the true true? <laughs> it's like, whoa, whoa, what? To me and me not saying them to you? I do not understand your question. <laughs> Don't either. Um, you are not welcome on my know? property if it's in regards to property. Don't offer anything, Mr. Hales. Just wait for the next question. You've indicated that you did not understand it. Ms. Preston, you may restate it or ask a different question. This is what an impartial, 
unbiased judge is supposed to look like. You notice how she puts Lynette in her place, but she also puts me in my place yep. constantly. It's impartial. It's unbiased. It's a beautiful thing in Ohio. How do I? Yeah, that's exactly how it should play. I mean, again, you know, she's she's clarifying rules there. Every now and then, you know, if you when you're testifying about something, it, it's it's a bit nerve wracking. You know, I mean, it, it's it's an experience where you can be very composed and everything else. But still, you know, there, there's a little items that even in the best of cases, you might get wrong. But this this is in. The dumbest of cases, you know, where you're like, what is she even asking me here? And he, he, he was like, well, I think this is what you mean. And the lawyer or the rather the judge is like, eh, you, you, no, no, you, you don't have to. You don't have to try to translate the stupid. <laughs> you just let it roll. Your Honor, I don't know how to do this to defend myself. I don't know what to do. I guess I've never been in this position before, so I'm not sure exactly what to ask him because. Um, I cannot, I cannot give you legal advice. Lynette is missing Judge De Thomas about yep. right now, who did nothing but act as her lawyer yep. from the bench, which is illegal. Now, at this point in time, this has happened months before she ever knew who Judge Tobias was. Remember, we got a civil protection order in Ohio. She ran to the courts in Florida to try and get an injunction as well. We're going back in time and showing you what happened before all the Florida garbage. I can give you the opportunity to. Yeah. And like I said, I want to go over. I know other people have covered what's in the courtroom, but I thought, man, I I delayed. Like I said, a lot of people were covering it. And I thought, man, you know, stacking up on it. Plus. I respect people like uh, like Megan. I don't I don't want to step on what she's covering right off the moment. You know, again, if I'm covering something, she wouldn't do that and vice versa. So, you know, with that, I was like, well, and I think it works out, actually, because what you get to do, you we can talk about what is wrong in something. But when you start out looking at what's right in something, you can truly see just how bad it is. Cross-examine. Cross-examination yeah. is exactly what I've described to you. The opportunity to ask Mr. Hales questions. You will be given an opportunity under oath to give your own testimony and evidence at the appropriate time. If you're turning 65 or beyond, 65 or older, license, there are a lot of people today that are Medicare. All right, skip that one. <laughs> Mr. Hale, <laughs> do, do you drive by my house and film us every time you're here? Yes, for my you... protection and for the protection no. of my loved ones. Did you hear her? My God. But I've never, I've never threatened you. I've never. You can't make that statement. You. Objection, move to strike. Objection, move to strike. Okay, hold on, Miss Preston. You are not asking a question. Ask a question. <laughs> I'm, I'm going, Mr. Hill. How tall am I? Based on our temporary protection order, we guessed that your height was. Oh, God, if he says, like, stack three turtles tall or something, I'll die. Or five foot, under six oh. foot. <laughs> and how much do I weigh? Based on our temporary ex parte protection order, we guessed roughly around. She's going with the, this. This is, remember I told you that there's a playbook, right? This is an abuser playbook. Particularly female abusers play into this all the time. Well, I'm too small to cause you harm. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm just a little leaf on the wind. And look at you. You're a mountain. <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh, no, that's not how that works. I'm 100 pounds. And how old am I? You are, based on your post on Facebook, you've posted different numbers on your age. And I believe in the protection order, we posted it at 61 or 62. So you're afraid of a woman five foot tall, weighing 85 pounds, 61 years old, that I'm going to hurt you in some way? 
based on your post, you have posted pictures of you with a firearm stating that you will pop a cap in me. Can you provide the court with that photo of me standing with a firearm saying I'm going to put a cap in you? Yes, we can provide the court. I do not know if I have provided the court under my attorney. Okay, and I'm going to ask the court that you provide that because that is a bold face lie. Oh, whoopsie. By the way, you always remember the old, uh, the old quote, God created men, cult made them equal. I mean, you remember that, right? Talking about a firearm. So, yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter how big someone is. And crazy, when you give crazy a weapon, crazy, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter how big crazy is. Crazy is dangerous, but you see that. I'm going to proudly wear my gun and my holster and my property. And if anyone messes with me, I'll pop a cap in there. Indeed. Well, this is awkward. Here we go. <laughs> Debunked yet again. <laughs> I like his shirt, by the way. Receipts, proof. <laughs> and I said, I don't answer questions. You know, this, I take what evidence and testimony that is presented to the court and then make my determination based on the information that is presented to me. So ask your next question, please. Have, have you seen me when you're in town here in Otter Creek? Have you seen me coming out to you anywhere? Or is it that me and my daughter stay hidden in our shed on our property? I did not understand the first portion of your question. Have you seen me, me personally, me, out at your, standing at your driveway or walking up to you in a store or anywhere near you? Have you seen me, me, anywhere near you? Yes. You've been Where at my drive. Now? You've been at town hall. You've been on my road. You purchased property across the street from me. You literally stalked me to Otter Creek. Hiding oh. in a shed? Isn't that illegal in Florida? Wait, <laughs> living in a shed is illegal in Florida. But don't worry, I have all the receipts, screenshots, the whole deal. As a matter of fact, uh, she doesn't hide at all. She's all over the place. She's mentioned and posted that she'll drive with a 100-mile radius to marry you on your special day if you only just donate to her turtle rescue. She breaks civil protection orders. She shows up at town hall. As a matter of fact, at the time you're seeing this, when it was released, two days ago, Levy County deputies told John Crook personally, if they show up and do not flee and do not remove themselves again, if myself and George are there, they will be immediately arrested. How do I know that? Because they told me that they told him. But they couldn't talk to her because she has legal representation now with Silver Scam. And Silver Scam told them, don't you dare talk to Lynette. First of all, I was a lawyer, I would... <laughs> Wouldn't let anybody talk to her either. She's such a pathological liar. Yep. Last time I saw her at Walmart, she flipped me the, you're number one. Not only that, but let, let's just say in some strange world, that would have been truthful, right? <laughs> Does she need to be standing out there in view to pop a cap in you? You know, a lot of people, a lot of crazies, they don't walk up to your face to do harm. They walk up behind your back and they want to do harm. So even if that, and again, it's not, but even if that were the case. Ugh. But it was with the middle finger. And how? what proof do you have of that? What proof do you have that I did it because of you and that I hadn't been watching my property for years before you? Number one, the property was not up for sale for years before I purchased. Number two, your own post on Instagram wow. that you purchased property next to me at my sign and my gate and that your hearts were on the mend now. Number three, your friend Jamster telling me in front of you that you purchased property to be near me. I could go on, but that should suffice. <laughs> I dispute that, but did I say that to you or did Jamie say that to you? You were there and Jamie. The, the, the judge is also going to be like, who the hell are you talking about? J did Jamie say that to you? Who said that to you again? <laughs> Cheeky, thanks for the two. Redact that too. <laughs> and Teddy, thanks for the two. She admits to living in a shed. <laughs> That's right. Is that kind of like a remix of that song, uh, living in a prayer, <laughs> living on a prayer? <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, oh, that would be a pretty funny cover. Amy said that to me. And post- is it not true? Is it not true that I looked at Jamie and told her to stop that? Stop saying that because it wasn't true? She called me a super fan and I told her to stop. Is it not true that I told her to not say that? Objection hearsay. Sustained. <laughs> Put your next question, please. He just said it was hearsay himself. Put your next Jamster question. Jamster said. Yeah, and you didn't object. Your next <laughs> you love that <laughs> the judge is like yeah <laughs> okay here's say but you didn't object therefore whoops <laughs> yeah uh, learning learning the laws the laws really <laughs> learning the laws live it's good times fun times indeed question please i don't know how to object um I, I don't, I don't. Does that conclude your questioning? So, Mr. Hales, I have one more question. Are you, did you go into Winn-Dixie and tell the manager at Winn-Dixie where I had a contract with them to get their um, vegetables and stuff, did you not go in there and tell the manager that I was seeding it to the homeless and throwing the garbage on dead dog road? Objection relevance. Sustain. Next question <laughs> if you have one. No, I don't. All right. Mr. Heller, do you have another witness? Your Honor, we'll rest. Okay. Okay. So we have exhibit A, B, and C. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Preston, any objection to those exhibits? Well, I can't see them. I didn't see them. I don't know if I've written any posts that they're holding or if fans did. <laughs> it sounds like they got a, a cicada like caught in the room. No. <laughs> or if moles did. I have no clue because I didn't see them. Or if moles did. Moles? <laughs> I thought she said there were no moles. <laughs> now it's not me debunking her. It's herself debunking her. Moles. I know they're out of context. This is exhibit A. Can you see it? Yes. Do you have an objection to that? I do because I didn't write it. Fine. This is exhibit B. Can you see it? Yes. I don't object to it at all. No, I I did write that. I did. And I'll explain when I get to. Fine. This is exhibit C. Can you see that first post? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you see the second post? Yes, I do. And well, my question is, well, I... I, Just listen. Just listen, I'm showing you the documents so that you can't see okay. that you can see the documents. This is the reason why yep, I've canceled right. my doorbell camera subscription. Ooh, this doorbell brand new cameras. So just look at the documents and acknowledge that you see them. Do you see page two? Um, yes, I do, but that has nothing to do with me. That's not what I asked. I'm, I'm making sure that you see them. <laughs> I like that. Okay, Snake Blush can things to do. Said the song should be more like Love Shack, not living on a prayer. <laughs> Oh, love shack, love shack, baby. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh. But you said that you. I can see it. You see yes, it? I object to that one. Do you see page three? Yes or no? Yes, yes, I can see it. Do you see page four of exhibit C? Yes. Do you see page five of exhibit C? Yes. That concludes exhibit C. What is your specific objection to exhibit C? Um, I didn't. I didn't write that. I do have one more question, if I may. may that not. I forgot. You may not. <laughs> All right, so the court is going to admit exhibits A, B, and C over the objection of the respondent, Preston. 
Ms. Preston, this is your opportunity to present your testimony and evidence. So I'm going to step off the bench for approximately two minutes. Nobody go anywhere, be prepared to start when I come back because I need to handle something in my personal life. So I'll be back in just one minute. At this point, Lynette's irrational behavior and chaotic conversation has spanned this, what was supposed to be two hearings, one against Lynette, one against Crook, way too long in the afternoon because the court's about to shut down. And judges have real lives outside of work as well. I'm assuming she has to go figure out, pick up times for her kids, something along those lines. <laughs> I, I want to see if anything falls in this part. <laughs> I just skip my head. And, there, and there'd be some like hey, interesting. Preston, are you calling no, yourself man. as a witness? Yes. Hey, okay, raise your right hand so I can swear. Oh you my in. God. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give is the truth and the whole truth? So oh, help me, God. All right, thank you. You may present your testimony and evidence. My testimony is such I didn't follow Mr. Hales to Otter Creek. I've been watching his property for um, several years since the end of 2017. When it was selling, it sold for a tax sale. It sold again 2018, 2019, three times one for 3,000, one for 4,000. I think it sold twice for 4,000. It's tra transferred hands three times prior to me buying it. Um, I was looking at the property. My sister Patty Hill came up here with me in 2018 to look at the property um, because I was going to leave John Cook. And I wanted to have my daughter and her husband move up to uh, anywhere up north. My girlfriend lived in the Panhandle. My best friend, Armin. Good Hell, God. She lived in the Panhandle. I wanted to be. Now, this is the kind of thing that you don't do in a court. You want to give concise answers. <laughs> you know, when you go through, you don't need a life narration, you know, <laughs> and especially one that just. It just ambles on, and it's a whole lot of nothingness. What's up, Chance? Thanks for the air. Property is sold for $4,666 in 2017. Lionel bought it for $22,500 in 2021 with no improvements. It wasn't for sale. She contacted the owners to directly to buy it. See, that's so wild, isn't it? Cat thinks for the five. She has no clue what to do without grudge, Judge. That's, in, that's true. I mean, you know, you can see. This this is the perfect example of why you don't walk in to a courtroom without representation. Closer up here instead of so hot down there. Um, so when in Northport where we were living, we had a beautiful home, fully remodeled, gorgeous home. I got the opportunity to adopt my beautiful baby daughter, and I adopted her, and in after her birth, which she was born in 2019, she was diagnosed with on, a hold life on, Ms. Hold on, Miss Preston, focus, please. Focus. <laughs> I am. No, I no, am. No. I don't. I mean, I okay. don't care about the daughter. I'm not trying to be okay. mean here. Focus on the petition that Mr. Hales has filed as okay. it relates to his allegations. She's like, I have focused against you, please. Okay. <laughs> I moved to Otter Creek to save my daughter from COVID to keep my daughter safe. I only bought the property because of that. Her math <laughs> is messed up. She's been watching the property since 2018. Came down, oh wait, up, wait, who knows which way, direction to view it with her sister, Patty Hill. And then, oh, then her beautiful daughter is born. By the way, at the very end of 2019. Now she's on the property as of 2020. Uh, something doesn't add up here because <laughs> how did you only buy the property that you went to view with your sister in 2018 when this child hasn't even been conceived yet, but you only bought it to save your daughter? 
that would be debunked. Did I think? No, no, you, you don't understand time travel. <laughs> this is like, it's not like watching Terminator math. <laughs> <laughs> this is like watching Terminator Genesis math. You're like, what in the world is going on? <laughs> uh, this would be like a Terminator math if it was brought to you by A&E or something. You're like, what the heck is happening? After I bought it, that it would, it would be fun. You get to know him. It would be a blast. He seemed like a nice guy on the videos. Did I think that that would be fun to have somebody like that around? In the neighborhood, sure, sure I did. Was I a super fan? No, I wasn't. Did I watch his videos? Yes, until the day I saw him start humiliating and hurting people in Otter Creek. That's when I stopped watching his videos. Perjury! You understand, under oath, she has said verbatim, per quote, I've only watched three or four of his videos. Now, you understand she's under oath in Ohio as well, saying, yes, I watched his videos all the time until he started in Otter Creek, where I stalked him to. <laughs> yeah, you get it, right? She will. Some more of that meth math. That's what it is. He'll be allegedly massive, massive perjury charges. We're already in the process of taking everything she said under oath in Ohio, in her deposition, in Florida courts, and submitting that for perjury charges. Some small little issues like this. Others huge, such as the sign saying she has never, ever, ever written these signs <laughs> to say that Jeremy is a child rapist. Um, he said that I never threw my ah, look at look at look at that right there. Like I like the translation a uh, rap is. They actually went with the translation. I love it. Off of my property and never told her me. to leave. And then I said a bad word. Um, I did ask her to leave my property. I asked his girlfriend to leave my property. The conversation with Lynette on her property lasted 20 minutes where she went on and on and on complaining about her life story, airing her dirty laundry. Never once did she tell me to get off her property or get the F off of her property. Why she, would she post that on Facebook then over and over again? Maybe it was her one personality talking to her <laughs> other personality. It's the 39 aliases. They're all communicating sometimes. <laughs> you know, that's what you got to understand. They're not aliases. They're all people. They're sheep. <laughs> Thanks for the tip there, Doug. Wait until you watch the contempt of court hearing Jeremy posted today. He got Levy County Sheriff's Office during the court hearing. Oh, my God. See, this is I don't I don't typically like to show people's content when I go through because, you know, again, that's why I, I tell you. Watch, watch this channel on your own first, and then we'll laugh at it. You know, we'll laugh at this stuff. I want you to direct your traffic there first and foremost, or afterwards, too. Heck, if you leave your house, leave it playing on playlists. Help their channel out there, you know? Help mine, too, if you want to play some stuff. <laughs> Take it four days off sometimes because of stuff going on in real life. <laughs> yeah, it's not good for your numbers and your metrics. Thank you all, by the way, for showing up every day. That does help. But... I mean, really, this this is so insane. I'm like, I just got to play it. I can't. His, his explanation fills in so many gaps here. There are a lot of people like myself that are just tuning into a lot of this stuff. So I think it's I think it's important that you keep it there. I think so. The five there, by the way, if you see Lynette's son by the side of the road, then you must be getting close to the <laughs> the poo shed, poo shed baby. Do I smell the poo shed baby? Okay. Just to debunk another one of Lynette's lies, I never once told her that she should give her baby up for adoption and to throw her away in the garbage. I simply said she had a lot on her plate. She had told me. <laughs> no, that, no, no, no. Um, See, so you've got to think. If you're used to eating garbage, then when you say something about having something on the plate, she's like, oh, my God, you're talking about garbage. <laughs> oh God. She thought that I had too much to handle with the Cordis rescue, with the baby, with John, and maybe it would be better if I put my daughter up for adoption. So I asked her to leave my property. That was the end of that. I wasn't rude to her. I wasn't mean to her. I told her, just go. Um, as far as Mr. Hale's 
uh, saying I've asked him for money. I've never asked Mr. Hales for a penny. I've never posted that I wanted money from Mr. Hales. Imagine a perfect charging oh, cable man. that never frays and will never let you down. Now, see it for you. Ever. Mr. Hales has been doing videos of me and my husband and my, well, ex-husband, sorry, uh, for the past nine months, eight months, nine months. He's birthed the baby. And they are horrible. He has doxxed me by giving... What was that in the background? Was that a kid or a cat? What exactly was that? Did you hear it? Ah! <laughs> what was that? Oh, Ray Bell. These are the two. You and Meg need to get Mark Feather on. Oh, my God. That would be fun. <laughs> uh, we're going tomorrow. I don't even know what we're doing tomorrow. It's just always funny. We'll do something. Something will be funny. Like, I I've learned this, too. Don't plan too far ahead because all this freaking craziness. I never know what's going to happen the next day. This this is a wild freaking situation. <laughs> Multiple cases, lots of crazy on the side. Oh, man. I mean, I was like, I've been watching. I, I figured this would be like maybe a you know, a week of something, to, you know, I thought, well, it'll be interesting. We'll catch up some documentation. It'll be about a week of something. <laughs> Hell no. I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface of the crazy yet. Ugh. Now, my full name, full address. Yeah. Understand that the term doxing means sharing private information with a malicious intent. For example, when Alinette and Crook have posted my address and my number, they've done that maliciously. They mm -hmm. want people to break into my properties and steal from me. Now, you can't dot somebody and share their number, their address, when they have it all over their Facebook rescue page. There are hundreds of GoFundMes, and they post it everywhere begging for donations. It's already there. She's doxing herself. If there's malicious intent, there's nothing I have ever done that has not been protected by First Amendment rights, constitutionally mm -hmm. protected, and I've never done anything with malicious intent. It's he's also living. You got to think of where he's living. Again, I, I know people are all over the world when they catch this. Like, you have to envision the U.S. South. <laughs> the U.S. South is heavy on. First Amendment protections. That's, yeah, yeah, people. I'm gonna run my mouth. I, that, that, whatever. We, you know, we. Uh, you, d you don't like institutional authority, rights again. Gone, guns, no government. <laughs> That's the way it goes. It has always been to share the truth of the story of what's going on in my life. Every name I've ever had married-wise, I've been married a few times. Last I checked, a few means three, not seven. Here we go, debunking again with all the receipts. They've had all out. He says that I showed up. Uh, <laughs> Should she have been like, uh, well, I'm getting close to a baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Half a dozen plus one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, uh, well, you know. I invited half a dozen, and, and, the, and one of them brought their plus one to the party. It's like, wait, what? Uh, his property, I remember the best of my knowledge that my private group, not public group, private group, one group that I have, my Heart of Otter Creek group is not even an open group. My private group, I have been disputing his lies about me because they are Every day there's a new one from me throwing garbage on Dead Dog Road and Piper's. <laughs> dead Dew Road. Starving. Lila, it's Dead Dew Road. It knows. It knows. It knows about the poop shit. <laughs> dead Dew <do> Road. <laughs> My tortoises, um, killing bobs, um, CPS. He has on his videos, ma'am said himself that he is called cps child protection services they have been at my home nine times i have this uh, just showing one of the workers um, as evidence 
they have came with allegations that he said his employee saw me slap my beef Hold on. across the face. Hold on, there is an objection. What is the objection? I would object to hearsay for whatever they said as far as Children Protective Services goes and without someone from Children Protective Services in Florida to authenticate it, I'm gonna to object to any documents being submitted from the children's organization. Sustained. I'm also going to remind you, Ms. Preston, that this is not your petition <laughs> against Mr. Hale. That, that, petition, that petition is going to be heard in the Florida courts, assuming that it was filed in the Florida courts. This is Mr. Hale's petition that he has filed against you. Look at how many times this has to be noted, by the way. I mean, so many times. Maybe me, me, thanks for the vibe there. Marla Hughes has a Gifts and Go page asking for donations for Line Ant and Crook's legal funds. Two people have donated. Wish we could get that down. <laughs> Two people. <laughs> I, think if, I think if they get like, uh, you know... Like I said, when you reach into your pocket and you pull out Lint and Broken Dreams, you don't you don't have to worry about it too much. If 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 it ended up getting taken down, here, here's the here's the caution I would give you with that. I mean, right now it's it's ineffective, right? But if you bring not bring attention when you're like ah too, but if it gets taken down, some people may see that as a challenge to a cause. Why would you want to remove that? You see what I mean? And again, I'm not saying it that way. I'm just saying you you could empower something that is absolutely inept at this time. Now, if it becomes focused, that's a different conversation, right? But right now, I would I would just laugh at this stupid and, and and shame people that want to do anything near it. You know? Uh, you're like, what in the world? Unless they're asking for $12 and a bag of Skittles, they're probably not going to get very much. Even then, you know? <laughs> like, oh man, I really do hope we get that super-sized fries with this Happy Meal. So, I'm going to use a sports reference here. So, you are not on offense. You are on defense. So please That's keep that in mind. what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to show you, Your Honor, that in fact, it is not me doing this to Mr. Hales, that it is him doing this to me. And I have never, if I put out, a, I did one day, one day out at the day after he posted. Have you noticed that when she speaks, it's almost just like screeching. <laughs> it, is, it is such a, could you imagine like, being in the same home with that all the time. I mean, oh my lord. It's like uh it's like listening to nails on a chalkboard. Well, not as bad as that. I, I would I'd have to turn out, but if, if I were just around that person all the time, it would be like that. I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> if if my uh if my headphones become unplugged, <laughs> life will end as I know it. <laughs> my information on my, somebody sent me a picture of a brown house i put it in my private group for about five minutes a brown house and one of his people that stuck into him stop stuffing sopping wet bags my, of a ice brown house cooler. i've got a brand new fridge on wheels that keeps your food got it and gave it to him it was removed immediately because ma'am i realized that playing the same game is not the right thing to do it wasn't a Christian thing to do. <laughs> and so I removed it right away. The only thing I've ever put on my post on that Facebook page is disputed the lies. And it has been daily. So I am telling you. I'm going to say talking about going strapped. That's probably not disputing the lies. <laughs> you know, when you're like, yeah, I'm going to go strapped and take out. And take... I've, I've seen some of the stuff that was posted there. That wasn't just answering the quote unquote lies. I'm not saying anything was lies. I'm just saying it wasn't answering other things. It was a lot more than that. Thank you, Your Honor. I have not abused this man. I have not stalked him. I have not done anything to him. Oh my God, Judge. I, I really didn't do it all. I, I didn't do it all. It's hard to say. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> when when Gollum stopped by this, I feel like I feel. I feel oh, let me let me compose myself. 
Okay. Uh, I feel like when Gollum here was going to throw the freaking one ring in the fire and stop by, you know, to visit the hells. Yeah. It's hard to feel bad for him when you're like, wow, process. <laughs> Oh, shit. I mean, I'm imagining Gollum trying to cry. Actually, Gollum, I would feel I would feel much worse for Gollum now. And I do not deserve to have something like that on my clean record. I just adopted a child. My record is clean. And I don't deserve to have that on my record when in fact it's Mr. Hales doing it to me. Not the other way around. Mr. Hales. Testimony? The judge is like, does that conclude your testimony? <laughs> then will you shut the bleep up? <laughs> I love it. Candace thinks the five. I'm a man or a reporter. And I've called CBS twice based on her videos and posts. Not because of Jeremy. She's horrible. I should not have that child. <laughs> and indeed, the stuff that, oh, there. Ugh. Snake plush kitten. What's up? Thanks for the five. It's just me. Or did Granny Clampid used to be less crazy and more amusing? <laughs> I think of the I think of the Beverly Hillbillies. You know, up from the ground came a bubbling crude. Oh no, that's the shit house. <laughs> um, no, I just I want to say that I have had numerous, numerous, and I have evidence of his fans. Um contacting me i've been called a slimy c-u-n-t a child rape. had to cut that uh second word out it's like rapist but it's not and as you can imagine where did this terminology even come from it's on signs now it's in court why because it's from her she did it the reality of her even using the term in ohio court proves that this is the woman who writes these words on signs saying it's me. Yeah. That's oftentimes what abusers will do because it has worked for them. They will take something that you have been through, the horrible stuff you have been through, and they will try to claim, no, 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 no. That actually happened to me. It's, it's insane. And it's, if, if Lynette, see, what amazes me is how many times she's gotten away. Because, you know, people will say, well, she's really good at playing the system. How fucking dumb is the system then? I mean, my God. I feel like, I mean, what the system do? Did they pull out a C and say or something, you know? The crazy lady says abuse. I mean, what is this? Oh, I don't know. It's hurting my brain. Destroyed my Portis rescue. His fans. Time to come clean, all you out there. Which one of you went and started this rescue where turtles actually need rescued from? Which <laughs> one of you got called wildlife and game to come in and got violations? One pin not even having any water. Which one of you are posting as Lynette Preston and stating that these animals are dying left and right on her? Which one of you? Because she said, you fans. I don't know if any of you are out there, but apparently you're guilty. You destroyed her turtle rescue. It's a purgatory where they check in, but they can't check out. Indeed. And I have Here, here's, a, here's a question. If the joke list was to blame somebody, and it couldn't be Jeremy Hale, who would she blame? <laughs> I would have said, if, I would have said Megan Fox, <laughs> but she seemed to have a, you know, a pretty big hate on for a DUI guy too. So, oh, <laughs> oh my God. If we just, if we rolled over to the joke list though, and she got to tell us who was doing it, who would you think she would blame? I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> it's nothing to do with what we're listening to, but it does, I guess. Uh, I blame it on DUI guy, by the way. Uh, I, how do I get this into <laughs> Larry did it. evidence? Is it it's the it? email. He says that he says that I was going to do this saying. meet and greet. Hold on, hold on. I don't he know what you. Hold on. 
<laughs> is that a document that you sent to the court? Your yes, but I don't know if you got it. Okay, so identify it for me in the packet that you sent to the court. Well, I sent two and you said you only got one. So I don't know where the other packet went. This is an email that I sent a text message to Mr. Hales telling him why I was not going to do his meet and greet at he in court, that I was going to do his meet and greet with him. And here's the email on why I was not. And I would like to read it to the court. Can I ask what the fuck is going on right now? Didn't the judge just say, yo, none of this has anything to do with anything? How did we slip back down this again? No, no, move on. Move on. How do I get it into evidence then? Okay, fine, read it. But if it's not relevant to Mr. Hale's petition, then I'm going to stop you. <laughs> he, it is relevant. He read said it. that I was asking read it. for money and I didn't. It says good morning. The judge, Under the it, circumstances, oh my God. I feel it's Did you hear that? Did you hear the judge say, <sighs> <laughs> the judge is like, oh my God. Uh, I feel bad for this lady here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> judge, it's a bad sign when the judge is like, oh my God, <laughs> stop. Better to protect myself, my integrity, <laughs> and not do your functions. I do not want to open myself up for any more false accusations just because you have money or own things or whatever that others don't own. You don't or don't own. You don't have to be the one that is being honest. Sanity Fair that, Coles has my favorite fitting in. My God. Yeah, this fits with what we're watching, by the way. Foam padding. <laughs> and sincere. I came from Northport, Florida with a paid for home. And our friends are the mayors and commissioners in Northport. They are my friends. They all know me inside and out. I'm they are my friends. <laughs> they know me inside and out. <laughs> what in the God's name is going on? Moved here to save my daughter's life. <laughs> get away from all the viruses and all the people and unfortunately all the viruses now the beer bug the beer bug brought friends Definitely my little girl neighbors next door who loved the baby and loved me and wanted to get my house every day and when we got here things fell apart not only did Biden take office and wreck the world but everything else fell apart it doesn't in any way or <laughs> shape or form say who I am. So I wrote that very nicely to tell him I was not. <laughs> what in God's name? <laughs> if somebody wrote me that, I would be, I'd be torn between thinking it's, it, it's a scammer who's a English secondary language <laughs> and laughing at it mercilessly. <laughs> I swear, it sounds like an email a Nigerian scammer might type themselves. I'm going to do his function because I didn't want any problems with him. Your Honor, I'm going to object to that. I don't see it in my packet here. I'm going to strike the whole thing. Uh, uh, hold on, says, me. Just give me a second, please. <laughs> I, I'm going to do that. Just give me a second, please. That's magical. <laughs> Hoping you got it was in one, one of those packets. At the very top, it's a little, a little arrow, and it says me, 7.42 a.m. March 8th. <laughs> there's, no, there's no exhibits or anything. All right, the document. She just sent a bunch of random shit in a pack. <laughs> Looks hilarious. <laughs> it's got little arrows pointed out and says, This is me at 740. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, just give me a second. Uh, oh. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs>
Can you imagine getting this gibberish and me like, what the fuck is this mess? Uh, ex exhibit blah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a professional today. Give me a second. <sighs> professional. Professional. Here we go. One, one second. Professional. There we go. It has been read into the record. The court is going to allow it. Please continue with your testimony. Please keep it relevant to why we're here. Okay. I never, Your Honor, have written any signs and put them up in pound. That is not a handwriting. That is not anything that I would ever do. Except we got the nation's number one forensic handwriting expert. That 100% <laughs> confirms that it is Lynette's <laughs> handwriting. Oopsie. She uses that terminology. This is her MO. I'm not the first she's done this to. I probably won't be the last she attempts to no. do this to. You're probably not the this dozen. This is her life story. pattern. This is who she is and what she does. And she's finally, for once, in her 61, or is it 62? She doesn't even seem to know what her age is on Facebook. Years of life is being held accountable for it. I have tried to remain only. You have to translate that at 61. <laughs> it just it literally is not in any meaning. Disputing the lies. Not I even wrote on my Facebook that I didn't want anyone to mention anything negative about Mr. Hales. And I do need to say, I am Lynette Preston. I am not Don Cook. I cannot control what Mr. Cook does. We are no longer married. We are what, let's say, we share the property. That's it. We're roommates. Hey, ladies. John Crook is up for grabs. Ooh. If you want no teeth and a wrapping all the way up to his crotch. Hey, and for a special bonus, he's got septic in the brain. I think the better word to describe them is he's got 372 knee replacements, too. I mean, if you're just going to get down to it. What's up, Tracy? Thanks for the five. I'm still trying to figure out why she left a house to protect her child by living in a shack. Because there's something aromatic about, <laughs> about the fresh swamp air. <laughs> Chicken shit reptiles and a poop shed i mean you just you don't understand when you put all of that together that oh man i mean that's just that's good that cures anything you just slather it on your face that's why she looks so young by the way she also uses that for a beauty treatment paramour <laughs> i live in my uh tiny house on the property right now until our house is done he stays in the camper and we did that because the allegations that were made by Mr. Hales about <laughs> <actual> abuse <laughs> from Mr. Cook to my daughter. I've never made any allegations of what she claimed here in court. She has, though. She's literally posted it publicly for the world to see about John in regards to the daughter on Facebook. I've said nothing about it. Only she has. And let's address this tiny house. No occupancy permit. It is not a tiny home. It's a shed, and it's illegal to live in. So I moved out of the camper to make sure that there was no more availability to anyone to lie and say that um, I was allowing my daughter to be my Why would you not mute your phone, by the way? Cindy, thanks for the vibe, by the way. <laughs> Boss, indeed. <laughs> Emma, thanks for the vibe. Deep breath, Todd. You're professional. That is my mantra, by the way. You will hear me <laughs> when, when, when I'm about to die from something. I'm supposed to be a professional here. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> oh, my God. This poor judge. What a nightmare. I know it's crazy, isn't it? And Jim, thanks for the two. She's not protecting her child from liabilities. I know. Is that contractual? Can you catch it? Kathy, thanks for the two. Dude, you're grossing me out. <laughs> You don't want to rub that on the skin? It puts the lotion on its skin or gets the turtle mix again. <laughs> Shit. Janice, thanks for the 10. Jeremy's investor is going to, North, or to interview the mayor and her friends and neighbors. Should be interesting. <laughs> oh, my God, man. There's so much. Mm. Okay, here we go. Oh, thank you all, too. Oh, thanks for the laughs, too. I've been reading the chat. 
You folks are crazy too. I love you all. Oh, y'all crack me up just as much. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Cook. So I did not make those, create those signs and I never would. I've done nothing to Mr. Hales at never. all. Never. I don't want to do anything to him. Never. I wanted to get along with him, but he, um, he has used me as a way to enhance his YouTube channel. And to make money. <laughs> this is the woman that stalked me to <laughs> enhance the YouTube channel. <laughs> like she's some kind of decoration there. Oh man, look like <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> she is killing me today. <laughs> she's gonna she's killing me. <laughs> Uh, uh, Otter Creek for three different Jeremy things. Said. Number one, she <laughs> wanted my money. Number two, she wanted the fan base and promotion. And number three, she wanted free labor at her turtle sanctuary, which is a purgatory. So how in the world am I making money off of her? I've spent over $125,000 right now to get her to... Isn't that insane, by the way? Justice, the price tag on doing anything in a courtroom is insane. Insane. I mean, really drink that in for just a second. Lots of laughs here, but drink in that price tag because that, I mean, that is, that, that's horrible. Candace, by the way, thanks for the 20. The adoption agency said they did an FBI check. There's zero evidence of that. If they'd done that check, it's likely it would have found things that would have changed the recommendation. There's so many inconsistencies. Indeed, indeed. There's no way they did a background check because just looking on the internet under that, you can tell. Jack's mom thinks, dude, listening to you crack up. It makes me laugh harder. It's killing. She's killing me. <laughs> Rosalind, thanks for the five. I can only listen to BS at 35 miles per hour. She shifted to turbo BS at 105 miles. And one more, one more, I agree. Patrick, thanks for the tea. With all our aliases, is there anyone out there that is willing to watch every episode of Jerry Springer just to make sure we haven't seen her before? <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, too, Candace. I'm glad you got my email there. Sending you one tonight. Yes, thank you. I've been looking forward to you making contact because I hear you're the person to go to with a lot of stuff. Stop interacting with my life. Yep. Obviously, I don't want to have to film these things. No human being spends this kind of money to want to continue to have these things happening. No human being spends money on a lawyer for cease and desist. Lawyers in Ohio, lawyers in Florida, and the list goes on. And you don't make this money back either. I mean, you really, I know how much you make on YouTube. Like, I don't know how much he specifically makes, but I know how YouTube works. Been here, been here in really, really good months. And even with, if he had, like, I've, I've had a couple of insane months. And even then, this kind of shit will wipe you out. So, yeah, nobody wants that. But if it's going to be there, yes, film it all. Make sure everyone sees it. That's what he went with. I agree. I definitely agree with that. You know, gone are the days where you have to cower and hide behind hide behind closed doors and hope these idiots walk away. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No more. And on and on. And if I was making all this money off of her, why doesn't she have the same amount of money I have? Yep. Currently, she probably has more than I do because I'm giving all mine to lawyers. And he's, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one in Otter Creek. I, I think I sent you in the packet. Um, I hope it came to you. All of the videos that he has made against the people in Otter Creek and myself. And there, there's too many of them to even talk about, Your Honor. There's, there's, there's pages and pages and pages of videos. Why doesn't she get false teeth? I mean, for real, you know, I, I don't, I don't like making fun of people's teeth, you know, <laughs> I mean, it just, for real, like why, you know, there, there are programs that, that provide assistance for that stuff. They absolutely 100% would.
I mean, but I'm sitting again, you know, every time I look at her, I think, I swear to God, this is what, like, when I look at that picture, this is what I think. I do, I think Gollum with a Heidi wig on. <laughs> every time I look at that, I'm telling you. <laughs> like, look at it. I'll never look away. It's Gollum with a little Heidi wig on. <laughs> it's like if you went to it's like if you went to five and dime and bought a wig and slapped it on Gollum. <laughs> One rat tech thanks for the two. Grudge Judge is to blame for that ridiculous pride. That that's true too. That is very true. <laughs> Marlena, thanks for the five. Thank you, Tug. Your laughter makes my day. I needed to laugh today. Oh, I'm in a I'm in a good mood. I, I needed to laugh today too. So I'm glad we have this. I, you know, again, I always preface this by saying I don't wish this on anyone, but if it's happening, I'm glad that Jeremy shares this because you know what? Sometimes we all need a laugh. And no, oh, I could use it today. Thank you, Jeremy. Videos and they're all about me. John Cook, Russell Meeks, Mary DeGroote, and Don Severino. It's constant. It's every day. It's because it's a circus. You feel the clowns. I mean, shit. Every day. It doesn't end. And just because these things were filed, he didn't stop. He's still doing it. So I dispute everything that he said about me. I want this to end. I want him to leave my family alone. I want to leave him alone. I want to have nothing to do with him. We don't leave our home. Several of the locals have spotted her walking on a public road, North Otter Creek Avenue, pushing the child in a stroller, but somehow they're locked up in the shed to hide. Locked and that was just days shed. ago, right? It was days ago. Two okay. days ago. Two days to be exact. I have lost, I've lost about 30 pounds. I'm down to 85 pounds. I can't eat. I can't sleep. <laughs> I'm locked in that shed. I'm locked in the shed. Oh, God, she said it. <laughs> oh my god she actually said it oh i'm locked in the shed <laughs> oh, oh i was not expecting her to actually go with that line <laughs> i'm down to 35 pounds <laughs> I'm locked in the shed. <laughs> I can't eat. Yeah, I'm locked in the wrong shed. Uh, Kathy, thanks for the vibe. Do you think she realizes how much others are now making because of her nonsense? Megan, DUI guy, expert, etc. cetera. Uh, probably. I think all these people do understand that. I really do. I think that it's not just that. We're so everybody that's showing up, you're you're actually helping all the channels in the algorithm. It pushes like like for me, I I've I've just been doing live streams and I'm not doing them frequently all the time. And, and you folks are still helping. My, so like I said, I appreciate that. I've had stuff I needed to do in real life, and and y'all have allowed this. So that's the biggest help. But you know, they know it too. They can't. They're on the wrong side of this, first of all. But even if they weren't on the wrong side of this, they have absolute morons. And all of these morons, they would put themselves on the wrong side. If you realize you could be, and they're not, I want to make this clear, they're not on the right side, but you could be on it and still end up on the wrong side of it, if you understand what I mean. And these morons, they just keep getting... It's like they keep getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> They've shifted it from, yeah, they're bad to, oh, my God, this can't be real, can it? Shed because I'm terrified for my child. I'm locked in. I'm locked in this shed because I'm terrified for my child. By the way, um, nah, people will reach out to you. It's just like with anything. I've talked about this with sources. Whether it's a company you're dealing with, terrible people, whatever. If you if these people are fucking horrific, people will reach out and they'll actually talk about them. That's exactly what you're seeing with her.
That's exactly what you see it. Wendy takes her vibe. Oh my God, Tug, you're right. Gollum with a wig and glasses. I'm laughing my ass off. I'm telling you, when you look there, I mean, again, imagine her like wearing the little, <laughs> imagine her like with the ring, living under a mountain, singing to it, you know. I'm you know, <laughs> I can't do a good goal right this moment. Oh, Lord. I, I'm just trying to prove to you, Your Honor, that it isn't me and oh. him. And I only dispute the lies. That's it. That's what he showed. <laughs> um, those, e those posts he said I made, there was a reason. He was telling everybody, he told his fans on a video. And he made fun of it and he said that I have to <laughs> I'm locked in the I'm locked in the sod process. <laughs> Help me process. I'm locked in the sod. The senses. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh. Kathy, they should do haters even help they do. <laughs> Turn the houses and stop me in the press the sound presses. <laughs> Run into my house if he drives by my road. That's what he told his fans. So I disputed that and said that is not <laughs> true. Finally, she said something that's correct. Oh I did state that she would and he would have to run into their home as I was quoting what my lawyer in this hearing shared with <laughs> us. Legally, he stated that they would have to, as we drove by, remove themselves and go into their home until we were passed. So apparently that was not the case because what the judge actually did is stated that if we are on our respected properties, 10 feet away from each other, you can be anywhere on your property. <laughs> That's what she put in the writing and in the actual civil protection order. Oh, by the way, that um, let's just debunk one more while we're at it, okay? Uh, her stating that I contacted the biological family, debunked everybody, the biological family of the child and everybody in her family have reached out and contacted me. I've contacted yeah. nobody. But I am planning a trip to go down to Northport and to interview the mayor and the commissioners and her previous neighbors mm -hmm. and the people who bought the home from them. Very good. I do not have to run in the house. The, he's lying to you. You people have to stop believing this and leave me alone. That's it. The judge is going to be like, what the references hell? From many people that are online that are his fans. I don't, I don't take enough. letters. So if, if you have witnesses, those witnesses can be called. They do not take letters of reference. So I'm about to call John Kirk Brushes. <laughs> Shit. Does that conclude well, your testimony? I guess I have nothing else to say, but I didn't do any of that. I wrote the mayor. I'm going to tell you why. I did write the mayor and asked him to please be protect his town. Because what's happened to our town? Protect his town. It's, it's a joke. And when he stood up in front of the whole room twice and told the people in there that I was going to kill them, and one of the commissioners, Gail Lamb, stood up and she defended me. And she said, stop. Objection. I met this. this no here. Objection, relevance, and here's uh, <laughs> Again, like I'm surprised the judge let that go so long. Aren't you? I mean, honestly, the judge has been more than nice about this stuff. What's up? The rammer thinks of do. She looks like E.T., but I think E.T. had more teeth. Well, you know, I I'm going to say a skill addiction will really jack up your teeth. I'm just saying, <laughs> this is E.T. <laughs> this is E.T. at 61, okay? I'm just I'm just saying. Emma thinks of the vibe. <laughs> What did Gollum do to deserve this comparison? I'm offended on Gollum's behalf. <laughs> Sorry, the process. <laughs> I got to stop that. Mm. <laughs> I can't. I can't help me. <laughs> Rhea Rye, thanks for the two. You're all invited to my funeral. Tell like I'm dead. I think I'm going to die here. Oh, my God. My <laughs> I've been laughing for like 30 minutes straight. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. <laughs> thanks for the two. You're laughing my Oh, I can't breathe. Oh. 
Okay. You see, I don't want to start it right away because I can't stop once it starts. It just keeps going. Okay. I'm almost back. I'm there. I'm there. Professional. I'm there. Come on. Come on, Tug. You can do this. <laughs> you, you can do it. Don't let go. don't 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 let uh, don't let Lorraine Golem beat you down. Thanks. Past council member Gail did not stand up to defend Lynette or Crook. She stood up and she stated that everybody dumps garbage on Dead Dog Road, and she even admitted that she's dumped garbage on Dead Dog Road. This is the same council member who told George and I that she has witnessed personally Crook and Lynette shooting randomly at vehicles that look like George's Jeep. Sorry. That's crazy. Sorry. This like that's a serious thing too. I, I've lived by I've lived in some redneck redneck places. You know, over yonder by the holler. Yeah, I've lived there. And people don't shoot, you know. I I can't say I've I've I know of some places that they would shoot at your vehicles, but yeah, not that. I mean, that's some that's some messed up. That is very, very, that is very messed up, Golan. <laughs> Golan. <laughs> Low rent Golem, it's Golan. <laughs> so don't you call her Golan? <laughs> it's not true. I have not done those things. I want nothing to do with him. I want to live peacefully on my property. I want to let my Portis Rescue Boat, there's the other thing that he made a comment of, that I am saying I started this Portis Rescue because he likes curdles. My Portis curdles. Rescue has been in, in act, it has been active for 10 years. It started in Northport, Florida, or in Rotunda, West Florida, when the first Portis came to us. <laughs> and then when we moved to Port, or, uh, Northport, Florida, the first big Portis already named had nothing to do with his girlfriend or whatever his name oh my god <laughs> didn't the judge say hey we're gonna stop this a while back and it just keeps starting up again <laughs> uh, that is really i guess this is what happens when you catch liabilities you just can't stop it's like oh <laughs> oh my god if Pringles were stupid, once you pop, you can't stop. Oh, Lord. The reason thanks for the five there. It's hard to look away from this wreck, from a wreck. That's true. The judge is probably just gawking at the train wreck. <laughs> that line, uh, maybe that's what it is. The judge is like, am I being bumped right now? <laughs> His name is George. He's been in the news all over down here in Port Charlotte. I don't care. I had the court. I don't the care. Line. Hold on. Stop, please. You've made your point that the turtle right. rescue was in existence 10 years prior to you buying the property. That's all Absolutely. I care about the tortoises. If you have anything else to say that's <laughs> relevant, please say it. Because otherwise, then I'm going to terminate your testimony at this point. All I can say is that he's um, perjured himself for it, and I am not on those things. I'm okay. not. Thank you. That I don't want nothing to do with this. That concludes your testimony. <laughs> Mr. Heller, do you have questions for this witness? We're limited to five questions. Please. Please. <laughs> that that actually is, oh my God, that is hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to limit it to five questions, please. Please, God, only limit it to five questions. That'll, that'll only take 2.7 years off my life. <laughs> the rammer things are the two. Apparently, inbreeding is legal in Florida. Yeah, it reminds me of those jokes about family trees with no branches. You know, they just grow straight up. Yeah. <laughs> Joe thinks are the two. Sometimes health problems can cause tooth loss. Yes. When you make fun of a specific person, like I said, that has nothing to do with other people. If you have dental problems, we all have dental problems. Oh my God, man, come on. If you got nice, shiny grill, I, I envy you. I envy you. You know, but in the real world, we all have something there. But when you look at folks like this, like I can't figure out how the fuck was lying at a stripper. Like what kind of low rent dive bar shit is this? Like that's a horrible thought. 
But that was the first I'm like <laughs> I mean again unless Mount Doom <laughs> unless Sauron was like, hey, <laughs> let's get Napoleon, baby. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Oh, there's so many questions that pop up here. Oh. Uh, I will turn the presentation on and it should show. I am showing you, Miss Preston, what I've marked as plaintiff's exhibit D. Uh, do you recognize this post? I'll try and get to you. <laughs> Mr. Hales, take your microphone and flip it so that. Thank you. Miss Preston, I'm showing you what's been marked as plaintiff's exhibit D. Are you having trouble with rodents? The rodents! Ants and other pests. That looks like exhibit Not D, new. doesn't it? <laughs> this ground. <laughs> Can you see that? Um, yes, but I didn't write that. Okay, on the top of it, it's Otter Creek Friends and Family. Is that your private Facebook group? That is my private group, but it looks like Marla wrote it, not me. Right here, the administrator's name, it says Lynette Michelle Preston. Is that correct? Yes. And then listed below this is an address here. That it does say that. What's the date of that? Because it was taken down immediately. Okay. I don't so allow my, that on my page. Marla wrote that, not me. Oh, burn Marla. Marla's the doxer, not me. I didn't do it. Marla tried to ruin him. It's like, what the? <laughs> I know I say what the hells every time I think Jeremy when I say that now. Tracy thinks for the five. If she wants nothing to do with them, then accept the TRO and move on. Yeah, the judge will be like, yo, nobody needs contact, and that's that. But that's not really what it is. Lynette also doesn't want to lose. That's the other part. One rad tech thing to do. <laughs> Maybe she was a butterface. <laughs> <laughs> like a butter bean. What's up? <laughs> Maybe bad things is about not to. She's a pre she's a preaching stripper. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm just gonna say this. <laughs> if I got this as a stripper gram, I'm gonna send it back. I'm gonna be like, hell no, no cash on delivery. Do not accept. <laughs> oh Lord. Next question not is, by me. My next question is this, Miss Preston. No. You did, in fact, post Mr. Hale's address online on Facebook. Is that correct? No, I, I, for you just I passed a fire. Of a brown house. Yes, I'm answering your question. Hold on, let him ask the question first, and then you can answer <laughs> it. Do not talk over each other. So, Here's your testimony question. previously is that you have posted his address online. Is that correct? It is correct. After he doxed me with all my personal information, yes, I did for about five minutes. Yes. And yes or no, I, that's all I'm asking for here on this post. Um, you reached out to the mayor particularly to tell him that you don't like Jeremy. No, not correct at all. You didn't send an email to the mayor of Peninsula asking for help with Jeremy. I did send a message to the, the mayor warning him of what happened to our town and what Jeremy has done in our town to us, to and, our board, to our commission. And you're, yes. you're here today, so you were served with a copy of this protection order. Is that correct? Yes. And you continue to post online about Jeremy? No, no absolutely not. I'm not posting against about Jeremy at all. No. You didn't <laughs> post in October. Uh, in transparency, I did send an email to the mayor. I thought it seemed like a nice guy on the video with Jeremy. You didn't send in, send that one? Oh. We've already seen exhibit C. Show, it, show that to me because no, that is not a post on Otter Creek Friends and Neighbors, I do not believe. <laughs> Showing you exhibit C here. This has already been admitted. Here's the problem with a lot of people like this too. They deny things that are easily documented. Easily. Easily. Stuart, by the way. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for the membership. Welcome to Ted's. This. <laughs> well, welcome to Gollum's Groupies. <laughs> I'm so tempted to change the name there. <laughs> Gollum's Groupies. <laughs> people, who, people who didn't catch this live stream be like, what the fuck is happening here? Uh...
<laughs> oh my god Ugh. that's why you never miss a show admitted <laughs> into evidence part of this in this first message here i want to clarify something for everyone the temporary order that he got on us it was fraudulent we didn't make any yes. signs i wrote that and so you've been posting publicly online since receiving the protection order is that correct I wrote that to dispute the lies about us having to run in the house and hide. And they also said that if I showed up at a meeting and he came, if I was at a meeting and he walked in, I would have to run out of the building. So Ms. I Preston, said I would not have to do that. Yes or no, you continued posting online after receiving the protection order. Simple one word answer. Not against him, no. Not no. against him, what? Not for him, no. Nothing further, Your Honor. I mean, again, that doesn't even make sense either. Not against him, no. What the fuck? Kathy thinks of the 20. The reason the town is turned upside down is because Jeremy's the only person to stand up the corrupt former mayor and council members and expose the corruption. And it, it's, it's, it's insanity. I mean, there's so much, there's so many levels of insanity. <laughs> in this and when you have when you have locals actually speak up and say here's an issue right here this is real this is a real issue and we've wanted this brought up but you know again you have to have in order to take something on first of all it, it goes beyond having the stones to do it you also have to have the the money or the power, you know, to, to expose it because a lot of people, they could go in, they could film that, but the backlash you would get, you might get buried in a swamp just to say like Jeremy, you know, he has 700 and what? 3000, by the way, if you're not subbed, obviously you should be subbed to the channel. Oh, you got to keep up with these gold moments, but He is on every day. People people would notice that, but a regular tip. I mean, who knows what would happen? And that's scary. It's even scary for him. Just to be honest, when I when I think about this, it's a it's a scary proposition. Like I said he he was like, you know, I I can't back away from that. And I mean, again, he has a channel, he has a large channel. He had the ability and the wherewithal to do it. Like, a lot of people can't do that at all. All right. Go ahead. Ms. Preston, do you have any other witnesses that you're calling? No, they didn't log Call on. the kid. Okay. <laughs> my, I'm going to do another golem. I recall my daughter processes, but she fell down. I can't help it. I to do one more. The court is going to take this matter under consideration. I will issue a written decision. The temporary order remains in effect. The temporary order remains in effect until this court issues its written order. Mr. Helley, are you moving for admission? What is it? Yes, Your Honor, I'm D? moving for admissions of a, exhibits A through D. Okay. I will allow admission of exhibit D. I have already done A, B, and C. So I'm taking this matter under consideration. I will issue a written decision. Again, I have told you that the temporary order remains in place until this court issues a further decision. That concludes this hearing with is this. this Ma'am, is this or does it can, does he have to stop as well? No. This Ohio does not allow reciprocal orders unless a reciprocal order has been filed. You do not live in Ohio. You have no residency in Ohio. I do not know what the status is of any filings that you have made in Florida. If there is a Florida filing that you have made, that would be the proper jurisdiction under which Mr. Hales could be precluded from having any contact with you. Not this court saying that Mr. Hales can't have contact with you. I am telling you that the temporary order that I previously issued remains in effect until the court issues a final order. That concludes your hearing. Do you have access to Mr. Cook? <laughs> yes. Can you please get him? This is case 2023-09-3594, Jeremy Hales versus John Cook. 
present. I'm not starting. I'm not starting John Cook yet. I can't do this yet. I, it, it, even if this is 12 seconds long, I can't do this yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. We're gonna pick this up, okay? Because <laughs> uh, I'm gonna die tonight otherwise. <laughs> So I cannot, I cannot keep going with this one tonight. Uh, let it go. No, we did. I know we we need to pick it up on it. Oh, I'll die. I'll die. Yes, tube town. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, Tug, do it. No, let's do it another night. We can continue this. Like, like again, if you have an off day, I. I <laughs> I need these in my life sometimes too. So I love getting together with you folks and laughing. It's stupid. It, it, it makes my day. So uh, we'll stop here and we'll do the, we'll do the John Cook one. I mean, they're too dead. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. There's nothing left. Yeah. John Cook is going to be, there's, there's some parts here and then we're going to have, you know, we're, we're going to have some more to go in. That's what I mean. You know, are you sure? No tug trust us. Just play to the end. Are you sure? Jeremy cuts it off and Cook is on another video. Okay, so is it going to cut off? Let me see. On the video is okay. John Cook, correct? Correct. Right. Okay, so he's going to put it. Also present in the courtroom is Jeremy well, there's a turtle. with counsel attorney Heller, correct? Correct. All right. So it is 430. Okay. This court has personal engagements such that so I the court was going to end it. <laughs> this hearing for today. It is not my preference to break these. The, the court was going to break it anyway. My bad. I was just like, I'm going to die if this keeps going <laughs> tonight. I thought it was going to pick up at this start. I guess we will do the John one. So let's up, finish this part real quick. I have no choice. I am going to set this oh. as quickly as I can so that we can resolve these issues. Okay, Your Honor. Yes. No, I said okay, Your Honor. Okay. It's my understanding that there is a hearing in Florida tomorrow. Is that correct, Mr. Cook? What? Yes. What time? One a one p.m. I can continue this hearing. Tomorrow morning at 8.30. Your Honor, I'm out of town. I'm sorry. Okay, till when? Uh, I'll be back tomorrow evening. I could do Friday the 13th in the afternoon. Friday the 13th? I cannot. Oh, man, that would have been golden. That would have been golden. Um, I'm available anytime unless the baby's got a doctor's appointment. Thank you, sir. Why can't Crook be available if the daughter <laughs> has some kind of uh, appointment? Remember, he's not the father legally. Only she is the mother, according to her. And the adoption is all up for debate right now. And it's probably going to be challenged. But we've already heard witness. They're not together. They're not a couple. CPS put a case plan together that separates them to live in different things. He does not have to be wherever this child is. Remember, she doesn't trust him. She's the one that says he does inappropriate things. Why can't he be available all of the time? I could do the morning of the 17th, Your Honor. Hold on. How about 11 o'clock? On Friday the thirteenth. Oh my God! It is on Friday the thirteenth. Okay, okay. Your Honor, <laughs> if you're turning sixty-five oh, oh my or beyond, God, that's you're going to want to watch this. There are a lot of people today <laughs> that are Medicare eligible that are. Thank you, Mr. Cook. Your Honor, I have another protection order in domestic court, and I'm just sharing with you. Okay. <laughs> Your Honor, I'm available anytime on Wednesday the eighteenth. <laughs> potentially try Friday the 13th. I'm going to, when, when you pick a date, I'm going to have to ask Michelle if the baby has a doctor's appointment. That's it. 
<laughs> that otherwise, turtle otherwise, is handsy, do. isn't it? And, and I appreciate that, Mr. Cook. Once we can settle on a date between my calendar and council's calendar, then I'll give you an opportunity to confirm that you are available. Thank you. Oh. Okay, come on, turtle. Look, they're going to make out. No, get off there, turtle. Poor, poor judge. The judge got that. Mr. Heller, tell me your availability for Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth, I can do any time. I can do one o'clock or any time after one o'clock. Oh God, please, please let it happen on Friday the thirteenth. How long do you expect your examination, um, your presentation of evidence, to take related to Mr. Cook? Uh, my direct is going to take no more than thirty minutes. I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. And you said you have a 10 o'clock in domestic? Uh, yes, Your Honor, I have a domestic at uh, 10 o'clock. How about 1130? I'll make it work, Your Honor. That's, other than that, it's, it gets ugly. Understood, Your Honor. Uh, uglier. Um, okay, Mr. Cook, can you please check to see if you are available on Friday the 13th at 1130? Okay, Your Honor, just give me a second because she walked <laughs> over to the other part of the property. To the window. <laughs> Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. She walked to the window, Your Honor. I have to yell through it. Hey, Michelle. <laughs> the other part of the property. Hey, hey Michelle. Doctor's appointment on Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> Hold on. Your Honor, did you say eleven thirty? Eleven thirty. At eleven thirty on Friday the thirteenth. <laughs> they are so fun, terribly fun. I don't know why, man. But these idiots crack me up just asking stupid. Your Honor, that seems to be fine with us. Oh, Excellent. God, it's All good. Right. Thank you. We are going right to the 13th it is. on Friday, October 13th at 11.30. Oh, my God. Mr. Cook, you may participate by Zoom. It will be the same Zoom link that you have used for today. So you can use that same Zoom link. Um, I would expect that you be present on the Zoom um, at or before 1130 so that we can get started promptly. Mr. Heller, I'm Michelle, going to expect the same from you. I'll do everything. In Michelle, time. get me hooked up. Excellent. Very good. I will see you all then. Um, 1013 at 1130. Thank you all for your time today. <laughs> to be continued, baby. To be continued. <laughs> That's gonna be so much fun. My phone ringing, by the way. That was my daughter. She was like, "Are you still?" <laughs> uh, let me see if I've uh, hit and missed any uh, super <laughs> D things to do for the purchase of a priceless voice. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I do I do an okay uh I do an okay call <laughs> uh, I haven't done that in a long time though. Let me see. I'm not trying to miss anybody. Just give me one minute. I'm trying to make sure that I I don't see anybody I missed through there. Or <laughs> if I did, I apologize. I try to catch everybody in the flow today. I was seeing if I could do that. Because I I I think it's a lot more fun if we can, like, if we're watching videos when we catch people and the commentary right in the moment. And I also, I, I bet, I've been trying a new setup where I can see the uh, the chat better while I'm going through because I can't pull it up. If I pull it up on my computer, <laughs> the three mice running on a wheel that we call internet connection out here, yeah, they die out easy. All right, well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it a day. I think this has been good. I'm going to let us go on um on a song. I think I'm going to call it there. I appreciate you folks. It's been a funny one. Megan will be on tomorrow. I don't I don't know what we'll cover there if we don't cover the uh <laughs> if we don't cover the cookie monster. <laughs> then, then, then we'll cover it the next day. We'll cover it either Wednesday or Thursday. I'll just have to look at what my schedule is. But I appreciate you folks for real. And we'll see you.
Watch stores of shit, crushing V, life and edge of flow. Coke, hosting your defeat on this wicked head rack flow. Now you're hoping you can sell a spin 39 aliases and still no way to win